We're back with another game of Way of the Hunter. It's been quite a while since we've been out here, but there's some new awesome announcements that we're going to talk about today. And it has a lot to do with the new rifles that we just got in the DLC pack coming out. Um, so right now we have the 6.5, the Steyr SS GM1. There's also this version, which is the Steyr GAMS. Then there's the 9.3 by 62, which is going to be a great big game rifle. Then there's a 270 bolt action rifle. But we're going to be getting the 6.5. Take a look at how cool this thing looks. Absolutely incredible, futuristic, modern, and just everything. Like, to me, it almost looks like a friggin' 50 BMG. It really does. Like if that thing had some bipods, you're talking, that's a 50 BMG right there. Look at the size of the bolt on that thing. And it's only a 6.5, which a 6.5 is a decent caliber rifle, but it's not, you know, like a seven millimeter or a 300 Magnum. It's smaller. It's, it's almost smaller than a 308, basically. But it has a lot more uh, flat shooting trajectory, so it will go a long ways without getting any drop. And we're going to be taking it out today for the first time ever. So I'm very much looking forward to this. All right, we got a little bit of light here, but not only that, there's also some animals down there as well. Take a look at that. I believe they're wildebeest, right? Those would be kudu. And that's not a bad size one right over there, actually. So we may go for that. But let's take a better view of this. Uh, 6.5 rifle here Trying to get in some more light tell you what we're gonna go for our first shot here And then we'll talk a little bit more about this rifle and the capabilities it has all right here We go, so we're gonna be going for a shot on this kudu here He's about 500 yards out from us Ordering away just like that. That should be a nice opportunity to go for a shot All right, so we're gonna zero for 500 430 bit of crosswind and that is going to make for an even more difficult shot well then we're about to find out just how good this rifle really is where did he even go oh he's up he's up all right here we go Holy, that was one heck of an amazing hit. He's hit hard. Wow. Now, we tried to compensate for the wind as well. I believe we did pretty well. Looks pretty good to me. Looks really good to me, actually. Oh, yeah, that's amazing blood. All right. So, we got good blood here. And... It's gonna lead us right to our kudu. Good blood, good blood, good blood. And I believe our kudu is finally piled up right over here. Now remember, this shot here was almost a 500 yard shot. We're gonna take a look at that shot there. So we did get him a little bit far forward, 476 yards. I was hoping the wind would push it a little more left, but in reality, that was a pretty epic shot there. And let's find out how big that really was. So it was a one star adult with 77% of the genes. Um, not the worst to take down, but but yeah, there you go. Look at the penetration of this 6.5. Clear pass through all the way through. And I believe it just barely missed the neck bone. Wait a second. Wait a second. That lodged right into the neck bone but it did go far enough into it where it would have dropped it. Although I don't think that would have mattered. I think even if it touched it, it would have hit spine and it would have dropped right there. So there we go. Our first animal down with the brand new 6.5 bolt action rifle. Wow. It's pretty incredible. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of love it. The sound, the kinetic energy behind that bullet and just the speed, it's, it's amazing. It really is. The fact that we took down this big bull kudu 
at almost 500 yards. He weighed 524 pounds. That's quite impressive for a 6'5 to be able to take that thing down. Considering sometimes it can barely take down a mule deer. I mean, it will take down a mule deer, but you still need to make a really good shot. Oh, there we go. That's what we're looking for. A nice one-star mature kudu out there. About 270 yards, but this time the wind is not going to push our shot at all. So we should be able to pretty much hold right on. For 160. And let's see what happens. We want to wait till he steps out a little bit more. Or at least picks up his head. Well, I guess he's not going to. Oh, there we go. Perfect. All right, that thing is absolutely smoked. Like, I can't imagine him going anywhere after that shot. Yeah, <laughs> he's down. He is down. Didn't go 20 yards and piled right up. Wow. That was quite impressive. And that's what I like to see. All right, we took the shot right here and yeah. He literally didn't go 20 yards. Well, let's take a look. Nice big old mature and... Well, there you go. We went right through the top of the heart. And got a double lung shot as well. So this thing is super, super accurate. Super, super accurate. Kind of wanted to see... How much further it went in past the uh, the heart once it hit there. Okay, there we go. So it went through the heart and... We only got a single lung. It actually did not pass through to get double lung. Even though it went straight through the heart. At 270 yards. So the good thing is this thing doesn't drop at all. Like, we're 0 for 160, and that's 200 and almost 80 yards. And it hit spot on where we were aiming for there. So, that's awesome. We also went straight through a rib, which is definitely going to slow down the 6.5 bullet because it's not that really... It's not really that heavy of a bullet to be able to penetrate through that rib and then still maintain the velocity as well as the kinetic energy to be able to go through and get double lung. But that's still quite impressive. I mean... You're talking this thing weighed 630 pounds. Ooh, here we go. We got eyes on a real nice white-tailed buck out there. He's feeding on top of that ravine at about 350 yards. We're going to go for a shot. All right, so he's right there. Looks to be either a two-star mature or maybe three-star. Nonetheless, he's a great-looking buck, and we're going to go for a shot. We're going to hold it right on the heart. And that thing is smoked. Surprisingly though, he did take off. I'll be real, I wasn't planning on him taking off like that. Alright, it looks like we got some pretty good blood right here. And it was definitely a vital hit. Running up this ridge all the way to the top. Oh, I thought I saw him there, but that is not him. So he actually ran a pretty good ways, considering the fact that he made it all the way across this opening here with what should have been a guaranteed double lung shot. And okay, there's blood here. There we go, more blood there. More blood here. There's our buck down right here. Okay, so he didn't really go that far, but he ran a good ways. That shot was a clean double lung shot, 350 yards out. And I believe it was a pass through, let's see. Yep, pass through. All the way through. 
Wow, that thing went a long ways through. Holy. Talk about a heck of a pass through. That is quite the penetration. But a beautiful buck as well. And it was a two star mature. Actually, it was a two star adult. So, oh, not really the greatest one to take down. Probably the worst possible buck to take down because that thing would have been a guaranteed five star in the very, very near future. But still a great looking buck. Two star adult. Wow. I thought he was bigger than that. I honestly thought he would have been a two or a three star mature, not an adult, but nonetheless, that's all right. We got plenty of five star whitetail, so I'm not really too worried about that. Now that's much better. We got ourselves a beautiful three star mature muley right out here. In fact, there he goes. Wait, that's a two star adult. Got a fox out there too. All right, so I want to try and make sure we find him. That's the one right there, that one in the front. He's a two-star mature. And what's that one? Uh, there might be... That two-star adult is very impressive. I'll be honest about that. But, so they should cross over here. Well, the problem is the wind was blowing right towards them, so they pretty much got our scent. And there was nothing we could really do about it to be able to uh, sway them. But I think we might go for this two-star mature. Right out there at about 160. It's gonna be a tough shot though. I think we could do it though. All right, we just got eyes on them right over there. 250 yards away. So maybe we should get up into that tower stand there. Otherwise, I don't know how the heck we're going to be able to see. There's a two-star mature. There. That's the one we want. That's the one we want right there. Smoked. Beautiful shot. Big Muley is hammered. And let's see if we can't watch him go down. Uh, he went up over that ridge. Not going to be able to see him. But it was a great shot. Got some really good blood from right here. Alright, let's get over there and go take a look. Here's where we took the shot. Right on top of this little ledge here. Really good blood. Blood going this way and there are some deer. But oh, we got whitetails coming towards us here. Hold on, I'm wondering if that's the same herd. Uh, I can't tell, it is the same herd. No way, they stopped out there. Well, we're gonna take down this buck as well. It's a two-star mature, 220 yards. That one right there. Try to get a heart shot. And I'd say we did. Because he is absolutely hammered. Let's keep an eye on him. Still going, still going. And he should tip over right there. So we're gonna mark that spot right there. And let's see if we can't find this buck down over here. Got blood going across here. More blood way over there, but that could be from a different one actually. Oh, I think he's down. Yeah, he is down right there. All right, let's go get him. So that was pretty awesome. Ended up getting a nice little double. Got uh, both big two-star matures. And I believe he's piled up right behind it. Yep, that's him. 
All right, let's take a look at him. That shot was a beautiful double lung shot at 148 yards. We actually went through the top valve of the heart, but we didn't hit the heart. Somehow it, I don't know how, but somehow it missed hitting that artery. Barely, but then still passed through and got a double lung shot. Clean pass through again at 150 yards. It was a two star mature, 61% of the genes. So actually decent genes for a two star, but not a bad one to take down either way. I am curious, however, if we did make a good shot on that buck. I mean, I don't see why we wouldn't have, but we were a little bit forward and we were trying to catch heart. So you never know what's gonna happen sometimes when you go for a heart shot. All right, we got blood here. Oh yeah, that's some good blood. Wait a second. That's some good blood. I don't know what that other blood was, but this is some really good blood here. And that's exactly where he did fall down. Look at, he's piled up right here. We literally marked the exact last location that we saw him before he went down and See, we did try and catch heart and we just nicked the artery again. But just nicked it. If we were an inch higher, he probably wouldn't have went 20 yards and fell over right there. But still an incredible shot. 220 yards out. And that was a 69% of the gene. So another good one to take down as well. I really like this thing. You know, I'd say it's probably one of the most forgiving rifles in this game. Normally, I've taken down a lot of different animals with rifles. For instance, the, uh, well, the 30 out 6 caliber. I've had so many times where I've shot at animals and never found them because it ended up being like a flesh hit. You know, it didn't take them down. Well, today, every single thing that we shot, we got. So that's 100% on the, um, the harvest rating there. 100% overall. You really can't beat that. Well, I was hoping to find a nice white tail buck, and though we did find that two-star adult, which was not the greatest one to take down, we came across another nice herd of muleys out here, and ooh, there happens to be a huge three-star mature muley buck right in there. But I honestly didn't even know he was there. I knew this guy was here. I knew this two-star mature was here. But then I was just uh, shining over here, and next thing you know, pfft, there's apparently a huge three-star mature muley there, bedded 213 yards out. So I'd really like to see how big that thing's gonna be. Wow, that's a pretty big herd of whitetail and... Oh, that one in the front is quite impressive. It's probably a three-star. So we have pretty much two giant three-star mature deer over here a white tail and a mule deer now we just got to figure out what we want to do or which one we want to take this buck is not going anywhere he's gonna lay right there so we're gonna go over here and check out this buck i like the new sounds of the deer they sound awesome there we go now we can see something one star adult Young, three-star mature, that's what he is. That's the buck that we saw. Well, we might be able to take him from right here. If I can get out of this brush. I'm pretty sure he's the gray one. Oh, that is him. Look how old he is. He's super, super gray. Wow. So yeah, he's not going to make it much longer. And he is about 180 yards out there. So although we could take that shot right there, we're not going to because we could easily get spine and we don't want to do that. We're going to try and catch heart. We'll wait till he feeds up a little bit further. There we go. Smoked. 
him. Where'd he go, though? There he is. Watch him. Watch him. He's down. He is down. Huge whitetail buck just tipped over right there. Wow. That was a giant buck. Yep. I'm sure this buck took off. Those are all whitetail. We got elk calling down here too. All right. So though we did eventually pass up that big muley, we did it to get this giant whitetail buck. It would have been super cool. Whoa. It would have been super cool to be able to get both big bucks, but you know what? We got this guy. And not only that, he was a big old gray buck, so he wasn't going to last much longer. Ended up getting a nice double lung shot there. 176 yards. He did start walking as we took that shot, so we hit him a little further back than what I would have liked, but still overall came through and did get a nice pass through double lung shot there at 180 yards the good thing is we never even hit a rib so it didn't lose any velocity or penetration it just went straight through and a clean clean pass through but let's take a look at this buck and find out how we did it's gonna be a 71 percent of the genes and it's actually a three star so it was a decent one to take down a real decent one definitely a lot better than that two star adult i'll tell you that um I'm trying to figure out how long this buck would have lasted for. I don't know. 389 score. I don't really think he would have lasted too much longer just because he was so gray. But overall, that's a heck of a buck. Look at the rack on that thing. Beautiful, beautiful white tail buck. And that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And now you definitely know how good the 6.5 bolt action rifle really is. It's honestly one of the most forgiving rifles that there possibly could be in the game. You're not gonna believe it, but look at what we just found up there on top of that ridge. That is our huge three-star mature muley buck. He's right out there at about 300 yards. We're gonna be able to go for a shot and I'm pretty excited about this. So he's right there. That's going to be him. He's a wide, wide buck. We're going to zero for 219, and we're going to hold right on top of the heart as he takes a step forward there, which is not going to give us a shot. But that is going to give us a shot right there. Well, maybe not that, but... So I got half a step forward, but I think he was still absolutely smoked. Yeah, he's hit hard. He's hit real hard. In fact, I'm pretty sure he may have went down. Really good blood on the tree. I absolutely love the fact that there's blood on the tree like this. That is awesome. And super realistic. Good blood here. Good boy going through here. And there's our buck. He did pile up right there. That's what I thought. That's exactly what I thought. Because otherwise, we would have seen him go through that opening. And he never made it to the other side. Wow, look at this rack. That's a huge buck. Got him a little far back. I mean, still made a great shot, though. The fact that we did come out the other lung as well. Just barely. About an inch behind it, but... Still did get a double lung shot, so you can't complain about that. 280 yard double lung shot there on this buck, and it was in fact a two star mature. So it wasn't exactly the three star, but still a two star mature. And let's check out the gene 90% of the genes. Wow, so that buck there had incredible genetics, and he probably wouldn't have gotten much bigger, but either way, I'm glad we took him down. But there we have it, another great, fantastic shot with the 6.5 bolt action rifle. Absolutely super impressed with the results of this rifle. So yeah, I would definitely recommend getting this brand new 6.5 bolt action rifle. 
It is honestly game changing in my opinion. It's so forgiving and reliable that it's just unbelievable. It really takes the cake and brings the weapon technology to the next level. Not only that, it looks amazing and sounds just so beautiful.